So here we are then, back with Breaking Point on F1 2021, and this is Chapter 12. Thank you for the incredible support so far. Leave a like if you are enjoying and subscribe for a few more chapters. I don't know how long this is, but uh, we shall see. Here we go, on to the next one. Casper. What's going on? We need to clear something up. Take a seat. Clear what up? Aiden thinks it's his fault that you're retiring. I'm sorry, Casper. I do respect you. Quite a lot, in fact. And I don't want you to retire. I didn't mean the things that I said. And I want you to know that if you're retiring because of me, I'll... Will you tell him? This anxiety... It's no good for his performance. I'm not retiring because of you. Everyone says... I'm not retiring because of you. Can I go now? No. You're going to give him two minutes of your time. Well, Brian, what am I? His therapist. Two minutes, Casper. That's all. Everyone says... Everyone's an idiot. I'm not retiring because of you. I told Brian after Zandvoort. I'm sorry you found out the way you did. It's tough. Yeah, it can be. The press, social media, I don't know. How do you deal with it all? There's only a handful of us in the whole world who get to do what we do. Yeah. A handful. You deal with it by never forgetting how lucky you are to be here. You understand? Never forget. Hey, Casper. Yeah. Do you ever forget? Sometimes. Sometimes we all do. Well then, uh, here we are, chapter 12 then. As the 2021 season rolls on, the F1 grid moves to historic spa with Kasper Ackerman sustaining his recent run of form. Williams hope that both drivers can maintain this level of performance. It's Sunday and that means it's race time here in Spa. As the cars are being prepared, let's join them trackside for the start of the Belgian Grand Prix. So here we are once again, ready to go racing through the Ardennes Forest. 4.35 miles of long straights, fast corners and massive elevation changes. It makes this not only one of the most exciting circuits on the calendar, but one that makes for some consistently high quality racing as well. Simply put it, there really is no place quite like Spa. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Young superstar Max Verstappen starts from pole position and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Norris, Sergio Perez and Ricardo, Leclerc, Fernando Alonso, Sainz and Pierre Gasly, Raikkonen, Ackerman, Esteban Ocon and Butler, Jackson, Mick Schumacher, Yuki Tsunoda, and Antonio Giovinazzi, Stroll, and Nikita Mazepin. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. Okay, so here we are then, uh, starting all the way down in 11th position. Should be okay though. Um, or is it 12th position? I can't quite remember. P12. 
So here we go. Ready for the lights. Finish in the top five is our objective. Lights out. Away we go here in Belgium. It's a good start off the line. But again, we sort of get swamped by the Williams and make a little bit of contact into turn one. That is not good. Well, we've settled into this race. We're just behind Carlos Sainz here. As we go through this section. Not too bad, but it is going to be really tough to get past these guys today, I feel. We've got Aiden Jackson a couple of places ahead of us now. He's up in P11. This has got to be the chance on Carlos Sainz and Kimi Raikkonen now. We've got the outside line in the Blanchemont. We hold it through. Raikkonen's still there. And we're through. Go down the inside and that's nicely done there. Well, rain. I, I did mention that we haven't had much in the way of rain so far in this series, so... Be interesting. Well, chance to go down the inside of Aiden Jackson. You can clearly see it's starting to rain here. Luckily, the front wing damage doesn't seem to DRS. be affecting us DRS at the moment. DRS enabled. I feel like this could be the last lap of dry weather running. Got that confirmed. Well, yeah. Jeff is suggesting come in, get the Inters on. So that is what we're going to do. He's already getting reasonably slippy out there. And the key thing is, we got in ahead of Jackson. The rain's getting worse. Be very careful. Which means that... Although we probably will be double stacking, we're going to get service first. But it is getting very, very slippy out there now. Tires well, through to the end now. Intermediate tires and brand new front wing intact. And uh, hopefully, we can now push on in these wet weather conditions and really show our worth. It's going to be tough to get into the top five, though. That's for sure. Well, look at this. Mazepin right in the way here of Pierre Gasly. And we go down the inside. He's still on the soft tyres. That's a problem. Brilliant manoeuvre. Two places at once. And that's Lance Stroll holding up Fernando Alonso and Charles Leclerc here. Go Alonso moves to the outside and we're through. This is exciting stuff. Are we going to risk it with Fernando? Probably a good job we didn't. He's gone a little bit wide though. A chance to go down the inside. A little bit of front wing damage potentially there. But he seems to just drive in front of us. Aiden is in the pit. Well, here Aiden we come through and we're going to be up to sixth place. Amazingly enough, and there's Perez. He's only just coming through. There he is. So, fifth place right in front of us. Let's see what we can do. Well, Perez straight into the pits. I'm not entirely sure why. Everybody seems to be in the pits. I have no idea why people have come in, but Fernando Alonso making a move on us. I guess maybe are they coming in for the extreme wets? No idea. That is a strange one though. But we are up into third now. Okay, copy that. Yeah, they think come in for the the full wet. So, I mean, I've got to say. We're not struggling too much on these tyres, but if they're saying come in, get the full wets on, then I am going to do that. But 
but yeah, I'm not really sure how much more grip they want. This is, you know, fairly doable at the moment. I don't see how changing tyres is Ten going to be the right call. Rain, but then we think it's going to dry up. Ten minutes. But we will go with the team, go with what they think. So here we go, everybody else is coming in as well. A few people came in a lap earlier. Yeah, a little bit of a slide there, so probably a good thing. But here we come, back into the pit lane then. gonna finish top five that's the the big question here are we gonna stay in front of enough people Aiden is coming in for his stop release release wait there you go Perez it's come out slightly in front annoyingly and look at that 2.2 seconds now we were right behind him Maybe we should have followed him into the pits. Well, that is annoying. Because now we have to make up three seconds in four laps. That's going to be very, very difficult. Well, with four laps left, we've made up a fair bit of time on Perez. Only 1.6 seconds behind now. I'll make that two. Pulled away a lot on this straight, but hopefully through this the next section we'll be all right. Two point zero seconds. Well, look at this. We're now within a second of Sergio Perez. This is a great Gap chance. To teammate behind is twenty one point seven seconds. Well, we got a chance on Sergio Perez here. We're going down the inside. Could be our one and only chance as we go into the last lap of the Grand Prix. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Conditions are so tough now because these are very much intermediate conditions, but we are holding out. You're pulling out a second a lap on the car behind. Well, here comes Sergio Perez. He's on our outside. He's not going to be able to do anything, luckily for us. Just got to stay away from the curbs, essentially. Very nearly went flying there. But I think we're okay. Oh! Nearly lit up the rears too soon there. This is going to be so tough to finish in the top five here. DRS has been enabled, thank goodness there's no more DRS zones. This is one down towards the bus stop chicane, I can't remember. Perez is right in our gearbox. He's right there, Valtteri Bottas wins the Grand Prix. We come round, we're okay. We come up towards the bus stop, we come round the final corner, Lando Norris is going to finish fourth, we are going to finish fifth and complete That's chapter 12. We'll see you in Park Ferme. Another top five finish for Williams. Amongst the drama ants, they've been quietly racking up some good points. Yeah, it's caught me off guard a little bit actually. When you look at the table, you're really not doing as badly as you might think. 
Williams have been nothing if not entertaining this year, for good or for bad. It'll be interesting to see how they fare by the end of the season. So after a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top spot. A well-earned victory for Mercedes. So despite the difficult conditions, Kasper Ackermann continued to impress as he achieved another top five All finish. All I'm saying is that the team are back in the mix this season. That's how good you've done. Yeah. yeah. You're ending your career on a high just like you wanted. You really couldn't ask for much better. You want one? Hmm? What's wrong? Nothing. What? I'm nothing. I'm, I'm fine. You haven't driven like this in ages. You're out there having a great time. You're raking in the points, but you're doing your moody face. I'm not doing my moody face. Stop that. Like this. Okay. It's Aiden. What about him? Well, he's still not right. He's moping around, anxious, apologetic. You know. I think he's struggling. I thought you were going to ignore him. Yeah, but he's just a kid. He needs support. From you? So, how many races have I got left? What's this all about, Cass? Let's say that um, I've got three or four months left in F1. What if... Go on. Nah, forget it. No, what? You laugh at me. Promise not to. It just sounds so stupid. <laughs> what does? What if I can... Oh my god. What? You've gone soft, haven't you? I knew you'd make fun of me. You want to make the F1 world a better place before you retire. You want to help the team, help aid in your own career be damned. And what if I did? So Casper Ackerman does have a heart after all. I'll alert the media. No, look, Zoe, I'm serious. What if I did? What could you do? Well, Mercedes has got a, a seat coming up next season. Some say they might even sign him. That is his dream. And you think you could help? I honestly don't know. <laughs> are we are we gonna let him win or oh. <laughs> something? Uh, yeah, really cool. Enjoyed that spa race in the in the rain. Um, Zoe Ackerman. I uh, forgot to mention. Did you see the trackside article that went out? They're now on social media talking about how much I hate the press. I never said it, uh, and the article doesn't even mention it. Remind me why I thought it was a good idea. You should help Aiden, by the way, and do whatever you can. Casper, uh, you wouldn't consider racing in other classifications. I've been chatting with a few people stateside. All kinds of opportunity open up if you're willing to give it a shot. Okay. Well, we're ne near the end now. I want to say two or three more chapters. And that is going to be that. So uh, we will leave it there for today. If you have enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. Down below, subscribe for more Breaking Point coverage. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.